Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday afternoon, the Mets took the rubber game of their series from the Phillies at City Field. 11-2, Mets banged out 15 hits, none bigger than the one Daniel Murphy hit in the fifth. The bat was made long before I got up there. Um, Lego has a great at bat. Uh, Ruben has a great at bat, and then Wheels lays down a real big bunt with two, two strikes on him. Granny has a good at bat, doesn't bite on anything, and um, you know, Forster just got a pitch in the middle of the plate. Um, I had already missed a changeup earlier in the game and flew out to left, so I really didn't want to let him beat me on that. So I was going to try to let it get deep, and you know, it was good enough for sack fly, and you know, Forster just went out of the ballpark. He's our leading hitter. He's plays a. The middle of the infield position, which is a difficult position that he's worked his butt off to be good at. Um, but, and I understand why his name would be out there. I mean, uh, as I told him when, when they started, when his name started getting mentioned, good players, names are in, in big deals. And uh, if I was a team on the other side that needed a middle infielder, I'd call here too. Well, Murphy's home run was a huge because uh, Kendrick was in trouble. Uh, the bottom of the lineup today, two three-hit games from Ligaris and Ruben Tejada. They got on base. Um, Zach Wheeler was able to get the bunt down. It looked like Murph was trying to hit a sack fly. He hit the ball the other way, showed considerable power hitting the ball out of the ballpark. That really answered the Phillies, who had put a run on the board, and the Mets blew it out after that. Mets got five runs in the seventh inning. Lucas Duda added a home run in the eighth. Zach Wheeler was not as dominant as he's been in recent in games, but he was certainly good enough to get his third straight win. Yeah, the first couple of innings, uh, they had a few things going, and you know, I had to get myself out of it. But after that, you know, I started to coach a little bit better and make my pitches more often. You know, you're just seeing a guy, and there's one of the outings that we're going to talk about down the road. That, you know, what he didn't have real good stuff today. And you looked up, and and he pitched really, really good. Yeah, I feel like we're a whole different team from the beginning of the season, honestly. Um, you know, with the bats, with the Pitching um, all around. Um, I think we're just being a little bit more consistent right now. And, uh, you know, we're, we're running series. So. Yeah, he's coming off a, b a big game in Milwaukee where he looked great, and today he didn't have his best stuff, but he did enough to stay in the game. Kendrick was very good for the first four innings, but wilted after that. And uh, congratulations to Lucas Duda. What a the July he had. Been great. Uh, driving in runs, you know, obviously hitting the home runs. Um, you know, just just amazing the transformation in, in such a, a short time period where he's become, um, you know, one of the more dangerous dangerous hitters in the National League, and that's uh, uh, it's been fun to watch because he's every time he picks up the bat, you know, you think he's going to hit the ball hard, and most of the time he does. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get a pitch up that I can drive. Um, you know, if I get it, um, you know, try to put a good swing on it, and you know, can't really you know, dive too much into it. You know, that is what it is. You know, so. Right now, again, I think there's there's that, uh, you know, stereotypical thing that goes with his where he hits in the lineup that he's got to drive balls against everybody. And I just want him to get hits. I, I, I still believe, you know, he's going to come up with guys on base and hits are going to drive in runs. Now has more home runs than he's ever had in his career and more RBIs than he's ever had in his career. 19 home runs, 60 RBIs for Duda to lead the club. Now the Mets welcome in the Giants on Friday night for the first of four. John Neese against Ryan Vogelsong. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch at 6 o'clock Friday night on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.